Welcome to Wall Street News Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. The Ford government appointed this developer to a committee to protect at-risk species. A month later, he's been turfed over serious allegations. Are the transport links replacing HS2 actually new? The Ford government appointed this developer to a committee to protect at-risk species. A month later, he's been turfed over serious allegations. The Toronto Star. The Ontario government is removing Sajjad Hussain from its Species at Risk Program Advisory Committee a month after appointing him. Hussain, CEO of Sunrise Homes, had recently settled allegations that he and his business partner misappropriated millions of dollars in a Markham townhouse development. The Ford government has not provided specific reasons for revoking the appointment, but the move comes as the government is under scrutiny for its close relationship with developers. Are the transport links replacing HS2 actually new? BBC. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has confirmed that the £36 billion, $48.5 billion, saved by scrapping the high-speed rail project HS2 to Manchester will be used for alternative rail, road, and bus schemes. However, there are questions about some of the schemes that have been promised, as some have already been announced or have unclear funding allocations. For example, it is uncertain whether funding will be available to extend platforms at Manchester Piccadilly for HS2 trains. Other projects that have been promised before include a dual carriageway in North East England and a mass transit system in West Yorkshire. Hello, viewers of the Six Degrees Briefing. I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees world. Today, we have some interesting news to share with you. First up, in Ontario, the Ford government appointed a developer named Sajjad Hussain to its Species at Risk Program Advisory Committee. However, just a month later, he has been removed from the committee. The reason for this sudden change is not clear, but it comes in the midst of the government facing scrutiny for its close ties to developers. It seems like protecting at-risk species might not be a top priority after all. Moving on to the United Kingdom, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has announced that the funds saved from scrapping the HS2 high-speed rail project will be used for alternative transport schemes. However, there are doubts about the promised projects. Some have already been announced or have unclear funding allocations. For example, it is uncertain whether there will be enough funding to extend platforms at Manchester Piccadilly for the HS2 trains. It seems like the government might be making promises they can't keep. Now, let's dive into some analysis. In the case of Sajjad Hussain's removal from the advisory committee, it raises questions about the government's selection process. Did they not do their due diligence in vetting the developers they appointed? This incident puts the government's credibility and commitment to protecting at-risk species into question. As for the UK's alternative transport schemes, it seems like there is a lack of transparency and clarity. Promising projects that have already been announced or have unclear funding allocations does not instill confidence. It is crucial for the government to provide clear details and ensure that the funds are allocated appropriately to meet the transportation needs of the public. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts on these news pieces. What do you make of the Ontario government's decision to remove Sajjad Hussain? And what are your thoughts on the UK government's promises for alternative transport schemes? Do you have any ideas or suggestions for how they could better handle these situations? Let's discuss and share our perspectives. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.